we should not listen to a, to men who give us false hope. The purpose of the Minister Farrakhan's 2010 Savior's Day address message was to deliver a esoteric message that there is a plane awaiting to rescue us on the pole shift in 2012. That's all well and good. I tell the minister if that is the case, you need not be afraid of government speaking in code. But I doubt that's the case because a plane a half mile by half mile is not big enough to carry enough people. My point is that I'm the only black man upon orb ship earth with the wisdom to save us if we want to be saved. The most profound thing about this is that I'm not a mobster. I'm a poor Rasta man living among a world of evil, ignorant, and cowardly people who talk the talk without walking the walk. If I'm wrong, correct me. What are we doing? Look at the so-called Rastafari people. What are you doing? concerning the master blaster Janet and take what I say in context don't take it out of context study it sound the sound speaking of the master blaster Janet the sound will vibrate to or with the magic crystal this is at the center of our power wisdom of the ibis head you are now in tune on the one the force itself at this time we call it the master blaster jamming peace love have faith in the wisdom of all time have faith in the ancient wisdom the as the Ibis head has said before me, a believer, wisdom is power and power is wisdom, one with each other, pre perfecting the whole. Let us as one bow down to the ancient wisdom of time, that we rise above the flood waters of the ages, the deluge brought on by greed and folly. I have come to know that evil is of time ignorance not knowing itself to be so. As the light comes near, we are illuminated, bathed in the wisdom of survival. The master blaster jamming is the key. Let us use it that we open the door of escape in time. Your government has made preparations to survive just like in the movie 2012. So you think I care about what anyone say or think they can do to me? If Satan can try to save himself, I dare that mother say anything about me trying to survive. For self-preservation is the first law of nature. Now examine what I say. Examine what I just said. Wisdom is unity. My advice to all is unity. Yaqub Moses on the one. Now concerning the Rastafari, it is in order that we worship the last king upon earth, we have the connection to the ancient of days. Praise his name. In this hour of our shining forth, Haile Selassie the first, King of kings, Lord of, of lords, earth's rightful ruler, descent of the ancient kings, Anunnaki. We are his subjects, a world created unto him by his subtle majesty. The Rastafari, in the enigmatic year 2012, completion of the calendar given us by our fathers in time, the movement Rastafari will be at 82 years of age. Note that it was in the year 1982 the powers which has 
which has kept us, the captives, in bondage for over 300 years, bear the powerful infrared telescope, saw the elliptical orb ship Nibiru, our true home, coming for us. Just the previous year, our prophet had passed away. Peace and blessings be unto our brother Bob Marley. Listen, open your mind, view this coronation, February, no, uh, second November, i.e., second November, nineteen thirty equals eight, the resonant number of Nibiru. Note that from nineteen eighty-two, the spotting of Nibiru till till year twenty twelve is thirty years. Note the number thirty in the year nineteen thirty, the year of the crowning. Year of the coronation of the king, Nibiru was spotted in 1982. Note that in 2012, the Rastafari movement will be 82 years of age. Note that the prophet Bob Marley died at 36, and Nibiru has a 3600-year elliptical orbit. Note that the prophet died 5-11-1981 equals 26. And the 26,000 year equal 36,500 Zolkin cycles of 260 days, suggesting a connection to the solar year. Listen careful, study, and you will see wisdom knowing this truth. Entering you, you will see, you will feel. Via the stirrup, the anvil, making the drum sound. You are now in tune on the one, the force itself. At this time, we call it the master blaster jamming. We are drawing to a close, the close of this discourse. We have laid out for you the 2010 Savior's Day, addressed by the minister Louis Farrakhan. Show the connection between L. Ron Hubbard and the Scientology or the psychology it's for you to decide I'm just laying it out to you you're now in tune on the one the force itself at this time we call it the master blaster jamming but by any means we must survive 